Holy shit. Oh my god. I can literally touch him right now. <sighs> What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm here in the city of Mandalay and let's see what the city have to offer. So come along with me. Yesterday I was in Bagan and yeah, made my way to Mandalay which was around 4 hours ride but it took longer than expected because of there was a lot of security checks, there were a lot of you know, yeah security check basically 4 times. I couldn't take out my camera or my phone you know to show you guys what is really going on but basically they were just checking your NRIC, your bags and stuff like that so. Yeah, it was pretty chill, pretty simple, but it was quite annoying for you to, you know, go down, take off your stuff, show your, you know, ID and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was quite annoying and it took a lot of time. So from four hours become like six to seven hours. But yeah, I'm finally here in Mandalay. Anyway, I want to show you guys like a clip of the lunch that I had in Bagan, the 3,500 chats, the $1 buffet, which was just incredible. So yeah, I think the place made it, you know, a lot better to eat there. Uh, there's like a temple right beside, you know, there's like a lot of, you know, big trees shaded with like a lot of big trees. And yeah, the five was just right. So go and check out that place really really nice food there so yeah So yeah, I arrived here in late evening, arrived to Mandalay in the late evenings and then yeah, I we drive, my uncle picked me up and we drive through like the notorious street where there's like a lot of crimes, a lot of, you know, robberies and snatching, snitching, snatching of stuff but yeah we were kind of late so yeah we just decided to take the risk and then ride in the dark and there was this one bike which was following us and then we got a little paranoid i was like getting my chair ready to hit them <laughs> but yeah nothing happened i'm safe uh this is like a beautiful morning here in mandalay and yeah i think this vlog is gonna be a little you know a little different from all my other vlogs Today, for this vlog, I'm just gonna, you know, chill and then show you guys the neighborhood of this town. Actually, this is not the city, like, I'm not in the Mandalay city itself, the city area. I'm outside of, like, the city area where there's, like, it's much more rural. There's, like, mountains backdrop behind. I doubt you can see it because it's too overexposed, but I'll show you guys later on. But this place is just beautiful, guys, and I want to share more with you guys.
anyway, this morning I was walking around the village and I saw these huge, you know, elephants. Um, yeah, so I had to, you know, take some shots of them. They were beautiful, they were beautiful. And I know where they live, so yeah, later, maybe in this vlog or maybe in the next vlog, I'm gonna find out, gonna, you know, take some videos with them. Um, there's actually a lady who's coming to pick me up. She want to, you know, bring me to mushroom picking. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So I'm gonna follow her along today. And yeah, just explore the, this side of Mandalay, this side of the town. And then yeah, I'm not going into city um, today. I'm not gonna be exploring like the touristy area of Mandalay for this vlog. But yeah, more about this village. Come. Oh, oh, you like me? <laughs> so, in this village, you see houses like this, like you know, very grand very luxurious and you see like a small little houses which are 30 feet like the front and 40 feet long that's like very very tiny like you know like it's like a room size but yeah this is one of the like the cheaper area for you to buy land so yeah a lot of people come here build their houses so yeah just imagine that square blocks that rectangular blocks it's your home. So I heard one feet, one square feet is around 600 juts. Even for, yeah, I think for Myanmar rate, it's not bad. No, sorry, not 600 juts, 300 juts. So, yeah, you, but you need to buy like the whole thing. And yeah, it's considered cheapest here in the city of Mandalay. It's 300 juts. I don't know how much the prices are in Singapore, but I think they are still relatively cheap. Whew, it's getting hot. I just went to the lady's house, one random lady's house, who said she's gonna bring me to the forest, you know, to pick up some vegetables and herbs. So yeah, I'm gonna follow her along, but she seems busy right now. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a little while. So this plot of land that I just shot looks pretty big on the camera but yeah trust me it's pretty small. I think it's like half of half the size of my room. <sighs> Damn. Alright, here we go. So <laughs> we're gonna be hiking to that base of that mountain to look for mushrooms, bamboo shoots, and other herbs. Yeah, pretty interesting. She's like the one of the rare locals who grew up in this forest and who's still living in this forest. So yeah, she knows her way around. And yeah, I'm just gonna follow her, follow her lead, and yeah, see what this village have to offer. This is gonna be a long hike, long, long hike. She said it's gonna take us around an hour. Whoops. And yeah, she's actually have no job. She's not working, but she hikes up to this mountain every day for food. And she said there's a lot of tons of vegetables, you know, other vegetables that you can eat. Uh, sometimes she'll hunt, she'll even hunt for some meat. Uh, I think basically like rats or rabbits and stuff like that. But wow, this, this area is like very beautiful. I love this kind of, you know, I love these kind of vibes. Whew. Beautiful guys, beautiful. Entering the forest. Mm -hmm. 
So we are walking past someone else's um, mango plantation. And yeah, all the trees that you know you see around me are um, big mango trees. And during like the mango season, the the whole villagers, the whole village will have like plenty of mango. As they say, the owner plant this not for profit, just for you know, I don't know, I, not for profit. That's for sure. I don't know what's his purpose, but yeah, they will give out a lot of you know uh, mangoes whenever the mango season is around. Ooh. It's so cool to you know watch her in her in action because she's just with her knife, with her little knife, looking around and yeah. I don't know what she's looking at, but anyway, these bamboo trees are fallen because of the elephants. Uh, they just, you know, have their breakfast here and they, and their shit is just right here. <laughs> Those two big elephants that I saw in the morning, yeah, they just roam around here. Their owner is also here. Okay, we're well, really, really getting into like the deep, deep forest as you can see from like the entrance. Yeah, everywhere we go is gonna be like that, apart from the coming back part. It's gonna be, we're gonna take the main route, uh, like the concrete route. But yeah, going there to the village, I mean to the forest, is gonna be like this for the entire trip. Oh my god, okay, I need to keep my camera away because I need to bend down. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. Let's go. All right. Shh. shh. I lost them. Okay. All right. Muy de bari. start crawling not literally but you know okay I see a lot of spider webs which creeps me out and she was saying that this area they're not there's not a lot of um oh she found something do it with oh <laughs> this area there's not a lot of snakes but whenever she see one it is like this big, as big as my, my lens. Oh, that's pretty scary, guys. Pretty scary. Okay. <laughs> I just can't fit into like, you know, these little holes. <laughs> oh my god. Stucks. Okay. I'm already sweating, man. It's gonna be a fun hike. Oh, shit. Haven't hiked for the longest time, but I think it's good. Good for my mind. Especially, I could, you know. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <sighs> right. Do do. We found bamboo. Yeah, we night. All right. Oh. oh my god. You know, I hear footsteps and I look back. You guys see that? That's the elephant that I was talking about. Oh, oh my god. Oh 
my god my heart is actually beating so fast this is like the closest i've come to like a wild elephant like there's no chain there's no nothing you know nothing hooked onto their ears he's just roaming around i'm trying to get closer look at that bro look at that so close it's like National Geographic in action. Oh my god. I think you can hear me. Holy sh Oh my god. I can literally touch him right now. <sighs> He's just chilling man. Come on, this guy is huge. Okay, I was wrong. I thought it was like a wow elephants. But yeah, they actually have chains on them. Mm, man, so sad. But wow, this, uh, this is huge, man. This is the female. And that right there, the guy, is like the male. They don't really need the chains, to be honest. They are very, very friendly, very obedient somehow. Wow. Okay. Let me get a few more shots of them. And then, yeah, I need to hike up. <laughs> Honestly, I think he's like having so much fun out here. Everywhere, he is just surrounded by bamboo trees. You can just, you can look how happy he is. There you go. My God. Bye bye. I need to hike. Okay, keep eating. Bye. Okay, time to go guys. Alright, back to the mango plantation. Wow, this plantation is huge. It's gonna be, it's been a fun vlog guys, for me at least. So, I'm glad that I came out. Woo. You can still, I can still hear the elephant devouring that, those bamboos. <laughs> he must be really, really hungry. Whew. I see them picking up some stuff. <laughs> Let's go and find out. So, so far we've got like a few bamboo shoots in our bag. That might be our dinner or maybe lunch. But let's see. Party, no! Huh? You are a little 
Anu lele. Okay. Okay, some type of vegetables which I have no idea, but she can make like a salad out of it. Yeah, well. Saram Sabu. So, so that's the uh, vegetable that she's picking. I have no idea what that is. If you guys know, do educate me. <laughs> but right now, I'm just, you know, <laughs> feeling thirsty, hot. It's only 8 a.m. in the morning, but the sun is like fully up. So tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to definitely need to wake up early. It's already like right up there. Wow. We are getting closer to the mountains. <laughs> and it just looks so magical. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. All right, I know, I know you're doing your job. <laughs> so these are actually sesame plantation. There's quite, quite a lot of it. Oh, peaceful. <laughs> Apart from the dog barking. Charcoal production. Let's see what it's like. This is not for like industrial, industrial type, but more like a for like family usage and yeah. You can't really see much to be honest. It's just that. But you can see some smokes coming out and yeah. Basically they're making charcoal out of it. It's only for the whole village or like the whole like you know one part of the family not for you know they're not making money out of it they're just doing it because they know how to and they know they can and yeah for their own use which is actually quite incredible to be honest yeah getting closer to the mountain i think this is already i'm already at like the base of the mountains it's pretty much it about to go back home it was it's an incredible and an incredible hour of hike up to this mountain look at this guys it's just it's just beautiful that's her view every day she would take different routes to a different part of like the mountains every day to find for food okay yeah so we've got a tons of her bag full of, you know, that leaf, that salad leaf. She's gonna make that into salad with some peanuts, uh, some sauce, some oils, some, some salt, and yeah, the bamboo. She's gonna fry it up. So yeah, that's her lunch, dinner, settle. Okay, let's see what she's gonna gonna look for. And by the way, the level of her fitness is quite insane. If you guys, if you guys are hearing me right now, I'm actually out of breath and it's like, you know, taking like a huge 
energy load for me to you know even vlog for me to even take um what's that b-rolls and stuff but she's not even sweating she's not even sweating and it is really hard to you know walk in these kind of conditions because you just get stuck but yeah i'm trying to catch up with them they are really really fast wow okay let me put that camera away first i'm out of breath guys she's just smiling walking around looking for food incredible so currently we are in teak plantation yeah a lot of teak wood being planted out here it's like massive massive a few acres of teak yeah we're just walking past you know and yeah she's still going now we are like not at the base of the mountain anymore <laughs> we are almost you know climbing up the mountain but i don't think she was gonna you know go all the way up but yeah she's not happy with what she have today <laughs> she's gonna look for more food <laughs> wow incredible I can't keep up with them, man. I was like so proud of, you know, being able to play, you know, 11 a side football for 90 minutes, blah, 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 fitness, gym and stuff. But when I'm actually following her for like an hour plus, I'm actually suffering. Whew. But the air is fresh, man. No no like toxic smell no oil no gas no smoke every breath you take is just amazing good more bamboo shoots this is a different kind of bamboo shoot that looks good Oh. Sabu do ya la. Sabu ma mo sabu da ma ya wu du ma ya la. Oh. Okay, wow. Alright. Tell me the dry me yara. Okay, Nevi. Right, right, right. Look at it. Some poisonous, poisonous bug, which I don't want to, you know, deal with. Running away. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's take a shot of that. Wow. Are doing? Trespassing. Trespassing someone else's property. <laughs> okay, this is alright. Oh, follow me. Don't worry. So, we're going to go. Do you need a video?
got some fruits. I have no idea what you call this, but in Myanmar and Burmese, we call it Ozadi. Wow. You want some, buddy? Oh, that's a lot. Got some fruits, some vegetables, some roots. What more can you ask for? Wow. So we're actually heading back now. Oops, oops, ends. Heading back now. But what an incredible morning, guys best two hours ever some chili as well to spice up your dish yeah she got a lot more <laughs> All right. Look at that. Uh, oops. Ah. Why the nyaiwe? Her bag is already full, man. <laughs> Share it. So when I hear her story this morning, I wasn't that interested. I wasn't even, you know, going to follow her. But the, the story goes like this. She was like, hey, I'm going into the forest to get some vegetables and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. But then I heard the story that she's been doing this for 40 years. No jobs, no nothing, just a house to live in. But yeah, every day, she comes up, she comes out from her house with an empty bag and then goes home with a bag full of fruits and vegetables every day. Can you imagine that? So that was, that was something that, you know, interested me a lot. So hence, I'm following, I've been following her for the past almost three hours now, two and a half hours. And it's been an incredible, incredible morning for me. So her bag is so full that she needs to use her hat to carry all the papaya. <laughs> all right, guys, we're back. Chizu <laughs> <laughs> so we literally took around eight, nine, ten, eleven, three hours plus uh, inside the forest, and it was just incredible day for me. I think probably gonna end the vlog here. Like I said before, um, this is like. All my relatives are here and I'm going to show it to you guys everything and you know how I manage, how we manage, our family managed to escape this kind of lifestyle and then yeah we will be, we you know first moved to the capital city which was Yangon and then we moved to Singapore and all that stuff so yeah it's going to be a lot of like these kind of like fun little vlogs with my family background as well so yeah gonna be very very interesting 10 days here in Mandalay so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um, appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys by the way that's my uncle who's very very talented with his guitar hey hey <laughs> all right I need to take a shower and I might even take a nap because I'm really, really tired right now. Bye guys.